But let's go to Stephanie next in Augusta, Maine. Stephanie, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. What's up? Oh, uh, well, um, so I recently just um, changed jobs. I'm sorry. I'm going to get upset. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, you just do you. Okay. So I was an educator in ed tech, um, and then I moved into what I would consider the corporate world. Yeah. I'm doing um, taxes now. Okay. And just I know it's not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Why the emotion? Tell me what's going on. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I want to be, I want to be doing what I want to do. Um, I love gardening. I love landscaping. I love outdoors. I love Uh being in my environment at home. Um, I just want to build my own thing. Yeah. Um, What's the emotion though? Are you just emotionally exhausted and you're just at the wits end? What's causing this? Um, yeah, it is. I'm driving to work every day like this. Is it because um, you're in a situation where you feel like you can't do the job? Is it that you no. feel like you don't have the skill to do it or that you're overwhelmed or it's just emotionally draining? What's I really want to get um, to the bottom of this. Okay, so it's because I, I'm pre- pretty certain it's because I know I'm not doing, I'm not, this isn't what I was meant to do. Okay, good. Um, but, I can do the job. Okay, that's um, great. And you're not crazy yeah. stressed out, right? And you're not being verbally no. abused. Okay. So, so no, no. There are some elements of the job that are are difficult. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But I'm not opposed to learning. It's just, I just, I just feel like it's eating my soul. <laughs> it is. But you know why? Do you know why the tears? No. <laughs> I think it's because you're afraid that you've wasted your life, your work life, or a bunch of your life, or you're fearful that there is no alternative and you're going to be stuck in this type of day job that has no connection to your heart forever. And I think that's what's exactly. causing you to feel the way you're feeling. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So what, The other portion of that is um, I, cl- I doubled my income. Uh-huh. And, you yeah. know, and so there's that. It's so not, you now and, also you feel guilty. I, I hate yes. this thing that's making my life better. What's wrong with me? Exactly. Okay. Yep. I'm so glad you shared that, Stephanie. Let me tell you why it's important that we just discuss that. Those fears and the voice that those fears are whispering into your ear, maybe shouting. It feels like it might be shouting now at this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 I knew it. Listen, those are lies. Number yeah. one, Stephanie, you, ha- you haven't wasted your life. Okay. Number mm-hmm. two, you're not selfish. You are not a jerk or an idiot. You fill in whatever the voice is telling you for feeling like I don't want to do this, even though I've doubled my income. That's not true right. either. <laughs> and then the third thing I want you to hear, Stephanie, is it's not too late and you can do something that you love and make enough money. Yay! Come on, yeah. Stephanie. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Stephanie. Let's get excited for a moment. Oh, uh, I wish I could. No, you can't. Yeah. No, seriously. Wait a second. Do you believe everything that I said? I do. Yeah, he nailed it. Okay. So wait a second. If you believe what I just said, then you can get excited. Yeah. All right. So today's the day. Today's the day we begin to change. Now we're going to do this really wise. Okay. So here's the deal. How much money do you make now? Um, I make 40, uh, yeah, 47. Okay. And are you in a double income family? I am. Okay. And what were you, so you were making roughly 24, somewhere in that range, 23, 20, yeah, 24. 22-ish, yeah. 22-ish, you were. And what were you yeah. doing there? Yeah. I was an ed tech. I was an educator. Yeah, and you didn't um, like that either, right? Sucked the life out of you too. <laughs> I loved, absolutely loved my students and my coworkers. Yeah. Um, just, yeah. I got burned out with I it. I get it. I get like, it. So, yep. so Time's tell me, changed. now listen, this is really important, Stephanie, because I freed your brain momentarily. So I need you to stay in this moment of clarity right now. Okay. If money was not an object, and I guaranteed you the 47000 but you got to do something in the, in the outdoors, landscaping, gardening, working for a greenhouse, I don't know, you come up with the answer. Mm-hmm. What would you do tomorrow? Knowing um, you can't I fail would... and I'm giving you the money. What do you do? <laughs> I'd do it. What? <laughs> I'd bust it out. I don't know. I That's would... not true. Yes, you do know. <laughs> I don't want doubtful, Stephanie. 
the Stephanie Ooh. who thinks she can't do it, the Stephanie who thinks it's too late, the Stephanie who thinks there's not enough money in it. Come on, Stephanie, what would you do tomorrow? You'd go, oh my gosh, to your family. I can't believe I get paid to do this. What would you do? Right. Say it. Yeah, I would do it. What? Say it. <laughs> I would probably open my own landscaping business or yes! garden center or Yes, there it is. <laughs> Stephanie breakthrough. <laughs> now Stephanie, listen. Yeah. We're not gonna open up the landscaping business tomorrow. But that's right. not the point. The point is what needs to be true for Stephanie to be able to eventually own her own landscaping business. Now <sighs> oh, there we go, there we go. Deep breath, Stephanie. Deep breath. <laughs> What needs to be true? Let me ask you this. If you went back to making 22000 would that put you and your family in hardship? No. Okay, then. So, so <laughs> you see what I'm, I'm not saying you need to do oh that. God. What I'm saying is what needs to be true for Stephanie to get on the path towards owning her own landscaping business. So I think you need to get into that space to right. get your soul filled back up. Yeah. Now describe really quickly for me, in 30 seconds or less, what your landscaping business would look like. What services or products would you offer? Go, really quick. Say it. So, yeah, just basic flowers, um, maybe even wedding bouquet, you know, yeah. arrangements, things like that. Just yes. a different, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Just your normal. So, there you go. Who's doing that in Augusta, Maine right now? You don't have to say it out loud, but who is it? You got it in your mind? Yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's funny that you're saying this because I literally went through this scenario in my head this morning. Well, good on you because you're exactly right. <laughs> All I'm doing right now is confirming what you already thought. You're just scared to go after it. Uh, yeah, I am a little bit. Yeah. No, but you don't need to be. You just told me that if you took a 50% pay cut and you went back to making 22, that it wouldn't put you all in financial hardship. And I'm not even saying you got to do that, but what if you leave in two weeks or four weeks or six weeks, this current gig, mm -hmm. and you step into a landscaping company and you're office managing for them, or you're doing all kinds of things. You bring so much experience right. to the table. You're good with details. That's what makes you good right. with accounting. What if you became the office manager and accountant and bookkeeper for for a place where you actually got to walk in and see flowers all day? That'd be a better step forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what if you started running would, their business and became and you started ru helping them run their small business and take over their their scheduling and take over their hiring or whatever? And all of a sudden you're in the landscaping business and you're learning how to run a landscaping business for somebody else. Oh, wait a second. Would that be valuable for you down the road, Stephanie? Absolutely. All right. That's where <laughs> yeah, you need to go. Of course. That's where you yeah. need to go. And soon. You hear me? So this is a conversation mm -hmm. with hubs, and we're going to have a budget conversation after we have the what if, and you're going to make mm -hmm. moves to get into that industry. And you're going to work for somebody else for a season so that you mm -hmm. learn everything you need to learn, and they pay you to get a master class and how to run the very thing you want to own. That's a heck yeah. of a plan oh, right yeah. there, Stephanie. And here's the great news. That's your plan. You already came up with this morning. You just called me to get verification. And I'm telling you, Stephanie, it's time to start moving. The next tier is yeah, I want to hear on the phone from you where you call <laughs> me up in the next year, two, three, four years, and you say, Ken, we talked a while back, and I was in tears the minute that you put me on the air. And now mm -hmm. I'm crying because I own my own business, because I did everything that I knew I wanted to do, and it was hard, but it's been invigorating, and it's now exhilarating. That's the next phone call with you and me where you're in tears. You hear me? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, Stephanie, I, I believe in you. Um, come on. Come on, Stephanie. Yeah, yeah, come, on, I got, come on. I believe in you. I've got some decisions to make. Yes, you do. And you better not let yeah. me down. You hear me? <laughs> I'll try not to. You better not. The only way you yeah. let me down is if you don't go for this and if you quit. Don't you dare okay. quit. Get after it. That's what it's about right there, Joe and Madison. Come on. If that was the only call I did on the show today, if that was the only thing I did on the show today, that's worth it. Because Stephanie is you. She's you. Come on, you're watching me. Who am I looking at right now? I want to look right into your soul. How many Stephanies are out there watching right now? Now, you know exactly what you want to do. You know why you want to do it. You know where you can do it. But fear and doubt are telling you that it's too late. You wasted it. You got a good job, a safe job. And if you leave that, you're selfish or you're an idiot. Stephanie's not the only one. 
not by a long shot is Stephanie the only one. 